14 and a half inch crop, 1.92. Big old fat pregnant toad. Get in there and have a baby or two. You got that one. These Mississippi crappie are hungry and eating jigs. All right, we're getting after them again. Water's starting to warm up. Let's catch some fish. The surface temperature is in the mid 50s, and these crappie are getting ready to spawn, which means they are getting hungry. There's my jig and weight dropping down. There's a nice looking crappie about 25 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight coming right on top of it. The wind is kind of ripping, so it's hard to keep that transducer lined up, but here comes a crappie. You got that one. Yes, it's a good one too. Good thing about the wind is they love to eat. Get in the boat, man. It's a healthy fish right here. Mm. Thirteen and a half. Nice black crappie. Thirteen and a half. Yes. Get in there, sucker. This is a good time to hit that like button and subscribe. I really appreciate your support. Love the comments. Share the videos. Thanks. There's a nice looking crappie about 50 feet from the boat. I didn't cast it quite far enough. There's another good looking crappie about 30 feet from the boat. Now my jig and weight are about to come into view. Right there coming on top of the fish. Got him. That's a good one. Hope it isn't a catfish. Oh, it's a catfish day. No, it's a crappie. Damn. Get up here, sucker. Man, he ate it. Good Lord of mercy. Thirteen and three quarters. Nice black crappie. Thirteen and three. Oh, These crappie were eating that Wild Willie's OCD Little Minnow, 1.75 inch in the blue and white color. They flat out wanted it. You can use that Miss 10 for a 10% discount. All right, there's my jig and weight. There's a nice looking crappie right by that branch. A jig and weight are about to come on top of the crappie right there. He saw it. Got that one. Yes. Get in the boat, my dude. Oh, that's a big old fat one. Ah, man. size of this toad crappie good lord of mercy 14 and a half let's weigh him zero it out one point nine two one point nine two good lord of mercy 14 and a half inch crappie 1.92 big old fat pregnant toad get in there and have a baby or two there's my cast about 38 feet from the boat i'm gonna reel it up to bring back to that crappie right there 25 feet from the boat there's my jig and weight coming right on top of it he's sitting still which i love there's my jig and weight he saw it He's turned and he's following it. Got it. Yes. That's another toad. Get in the boat. Top 
clear. Goodness gracious. 14. Almost 14 and a half. Big old black crappie. Mm. Look at the size of that belly. <laughs> I'm gonna let her go. Try to catch some males. Lord have mercy. All right, we're getting them on the blue and white Wild Willie's OCD little minnow. It's a 1.7 inch. It's got a triangle shaped tail. So it comes to a V on the bottom and it's flat on the top. So it kind of glides. Got a really nice action. Usually they hit that comet, that black and chartreuse, but they are wanting this blue and white today. Got a 16th ounce crappie magnet nickel plated, 10 pound test mono, quarter ounce slip sinker peg. Especially with an eight foot crappie sticks, GSO 8M cork handled, Daiwa Fuego reel. This is the 2500 series. That's set up. There's a nice looking crappie 20 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight. I'm gonna bring it back to the fish. And he's sitting still right there. Gotta line it up right. There we go. He saw it. He's turned. He's coming. And he's about to eat it. Got him. See it coming up to the screen. Couldn't really see him hit it. But he sure did get it. That's a white crop. Yes. Big old fat one too. Get in this boat. Look at the jelly in the belly. <laughs> Look at that fat toed white crappie. Goodness gracious. 13, almost 13 and a half white crappie. Yeah. All right, girl, I'm letting you go. Oh, look at what we got here. There's a nice group of fish. I think they're crappie. There's my jig and weight right there. Drop it down the bottom. I can get one of these mugs to eat it. To get it lined up right. The first one didn't want it. Now I'm com coming on top of the bigger one right there. He turned. Oh my goodness. Got to get a little taste. May have jumped the gun. Oh man, there is a nice looking crappie 20 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight coming down to it. Gonna drop it right on top of it. He's turned. Got that one. Yes. That was a good one. Get in the boat, my friend. Oh my goodness. <laughs> Top lip. Good Lord of mercy. Thirteen. Thirteen, three quarter. Black crappie. Yes. I'm gonna keep this one. All right, kind of scanning around there, see if I can find something. There's one on the bottom. A jig and weight, just one on top of it. Oh, he turned already. He's on it. Got that one right on the bottom. That's one I was targeting. See him come up. Right there. Oh my goodness. You're on the bottom hanging out. Get a little. Look at that fat toe. Good Lord, how much? Twelve and a half. 
Look at the gut on that 12 and a half inch black crappie. We're gonna let him go too. Oh my goodness. All right. Wasn't that wild willies? Oh, look at what we got here. There's a couple nice looking crappie a couple feet off the bottom. There's my jig and weight. Coming down on top of that one right there. He's already turned. Yes. Got that one. Oh my goodness, he got off. Dang. Check out these high C boots. Check out this thing right here on the back. It's like a little toe hold, so you can put your toe there and easily take them off. It's got these finger loops in the front and back for your fingers to put them on. Waterproof, really high quality. Use Fishing 15 for a 15% discount. Check them out. There's a nice looking crappie, 33 feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight about to come down on top of it. Looks like a pretty good drop. Oh, he saw it. He's already turned, coming from underneath it. He's going to eat it. Got that one. 30 feet out on the bottom. Man, hopefully he'll stay good. Pan. Good night. Get up here. Lip. Fat toad, 13 and a half. Black crappie. Put him in the boat. Need to catch a couple more. Oh, there's a nice looking crappie, about 28 feet from the boat. Kind of lost it. Got to line up the transducer right there. Okay, there's the fish, 22 feet from the boat. There's another one even closer. There's my jig and weight. Coming down on top of that first one. See if he'll eat it. Come on, turn, fish. He turned. He's following it. Got him. Get on that thing, boat. <clears throat> nice. Yeah, Lord of mercy. It's fourteen. Half. I think it's a male. 14 and a half. Put this dude in the boat. Yep. Thank you very much. Oh, there's a nice couple of crappie. Let's see if they'll eat it. There's my jig and weight dropping down. They're hanging by that shad trying to get a bite to eat. All right, there's my jig and weight. That fish turned. He's following it. He got that one. He got it. <laughs> That's what I'm talking about. Get in here, Tony. Be getting around my troll tomorrow. Get in the boat. Get. Oh my goodness, he got off. Dang. <laughs> oh my. That's a nice one. Always keep your hooks nice and sharp. I keep a hook sharpener handy. Oh, we better hit that a couple times. Make sure it's sharp. There's nothing worse than losing a fish because of a dull hook. Oh my.
There's a school of shad on the right there. A couple schools of shad. There's my jig and weight coming down. You can see a little crappie right there, about 25 feet from the boat. Got it lined up. Actually looks pretty good. I'm going to drop my weight and lure down to it, see if he'll eat it. First one's already turned. But he is not interested. Oh, man. Thought he was going to be interested. He followed it. Or he looked at it, at least for a second. Line up the transducer and find some fish to throw the jig to. Alright, I'm going to look around. Come on, crappie, where are you? Oh, there's a couple nice ones, 50 something feet from the boat. Right there, and the, the wind is ripping. I'm moving kind of fast. There they are, 40 feet from the boat. Cast to the. There you see my jig and weight dropping down. Kind of lose sight of the fish. I didn't get it lined up right. The wind was just ripping. But my jig and weight are really close to the fish. Got that one. Didn't even see it, hardly. Then one of them just circled around and got it. See him coming up. Key point is to keep moving your lure towards the fish if you know they're there, even though you can't see your lure on live scope. So there's me. Get over this way. White crop. Get up here, sir. Get hooked under the jaw. Uh, little, uh, 13 and a quarter white crappie 13 and a quarter i think it's a male i hope we'll find out Let's see how many we got here six or seven i'd like to catch keep about ten there's a couple of mice looking crappie one's about 20 feet from the boat he looks a little bigger so i'm going to cast to it there you see my weight and jig coming down to the crappie see if i can get him to turn and eat it oh he already saw it and he is turned coming in for the kill got him that sucker jumping he didn't want to get in the boat he said, I don't think so. Let's boat flip this bad boy. Get in here, buddy. Mm. Oh, man. 13 and a quarter. Man, that sucker's... Look at that fat belly. This thing's ready to pop with eggs, I think. Big old black crappie. I'll let her go. Come on, get back in there. Some nice looking crappie. There's my jig and weight coming down to one. There's a couple of them there. See if this first one will eat it. Nope, no taggers. I'm gonna bring it to this next crappie, see if he'll eat it. Those first two looked really good. Oh, this guy's already turned. He's following it. Got that one. If he can stay button. Get up here, sucker. Mm, that sucker's fat. Keep you little dude, I hope. Thirteen and a quarter. Look at that fat pit. Oh man. I think you might be a female. I might let you go. All right, there's my jig and weight dropping down. You're about to see a nice fish right there. Let's see if we can get him to eat it. All right, watch for the twitch. Right there, he's already turned. Right coming into that shad. You got that one. Oh yeah, that's a crappie too. Get up here, sucker. 
thought it was going to be bigger than that. Hmm. Stills. 12 inch black crappie. Put you in the boat, little dude. Thank you. Very much. All right, let's scan around. There's a nice one, 23 feet from the boat, right above that shad. Oh, there's another one, 45 feet out. There's my jig and weight coming down to the crappie, right on top of it. See if he'll eat it. Got that one. 45 feet out there. Goodness gracious. Oh man, look at that toad. Good Lord of mercy. Get up here, buddy. <clears throat> oh my, I definitely have to let this one go. <clears throat> look at the look at the gut on that white crappie. Good Lord have mercy. 13 and a half inch white crappie. Big old toad. Get back in there, girl. Always check your lure after you catch a fish or get a strike. Make sure it's lined up right, straight on the hook. It will definitely increase the number of bites you get. There's a nice crappie 25 feet from the boat. Got to get it lined up. There's my jig and weight coming to the fish. Oh, he's turned. He's following it. Got that one. He did not want to be hooked. Goodness gracious. No wonder he's hooked in the bottom lip. Get up here, sir. Fourteen. Fourteen inch black crappie. Yeah, man. Let's see what we got going on. Yeah. One, two, three, four, five. Eight. Alright, we're down to our last two blue and white. It's the little minnow, Wild Willie's OCD. Last two. That make them count. All right, there's a crappie 12, 13 feet from the boat. There's my jig. Well, there's my jig and weight right there. Coming to the fish. See if we can get him interested. Kind of twitching it right there. Oh, he followed it. Got that one. Yes. He's just chilling out minding his own business said hmm i think i have myself a potato chip oh my goodness all right sorry my friend we are going to use you for nutritional purposes 13 and a half inch black crappie 13 and a half yes <laughs> Get in there, man. Up in that house. There's my jig and weight coming to a crappie. He's sitting still. That's the ideal situation. There's my jig and weight coming right on top of it. He is already turned and he is going to eat it. Boom. <clears throat> Got him. Coming up to the boat. Yes, okay. Oh, that's a good eater size right there. It's 12 and three quarter black crappie. Get in that boat. Thank you very much. All right, there's a couple crappie. There's my jig and weight dropping down to them. One of them's about two, three feet off the bottom. See if we can get him interested. 
There's my jig right above it. Kind of twitching it. <clears throat> Got him. Better stay locked here. Ooh, that's a white crappie. Get up here, big girl. <clears throat> Thirteen, three, <clears throat> just shy of fourteen inches. All right, we're gonna put you in a boat, little girl, little dude. Two more, and we are calling it a day. Oh, one more crappie. Look at this one, eighteen feet from the boat. There's my jig and weight coming down to it, bringing it to the fish. Oh, he's already turned. He saw me twitch it, got interested. Now he's following it. Coming from underneath to move in for the kill. Got him. Yes. Man, that is so much fun. Good Lord have mercy. Get in the boat, you big toad. All right, one more. We're calling it a day. 14. Black crappie. Yeah, buddy. Huh. Get in there. All right, there's another crappie. Jig and weight are dropping down to it. Just coming on top of the fish. Oh, he's already turned. He's following it, coming from underneath. That's how they feed, they look up. He's coming. He is locked on. Right there. Got him. <laughs> he couldn't resist. Okay, that's the last fish of the day. He couldn't resist it. Wild Willie's OCD. He said, gotta have some of that good stuff. Get up here, buddy. Good Lord, have mercy. Top lip. Look at the size of that monster. 14 and a half inch. Look at the shoulders on that black crappie. 14 and a half black crappie, yes. Get in there. Uh, we're calling it a day. It's four o'clock. Look at that slab well. I don't know how many I let go, but it was a bunch. A bunch of big ones. Man. Well, we ended up keeping 13. I don't know how many I let go. A bunch of them. Fun time of year to fish. Fishing for a couple hours, catching that many nice keepers. That's as good as it gets. At least I'm happy. 